guys, welcome back. It's Nick again here, J Tech. Today, what we're going to do is bench test a starter. Now, I have a previous video that shows me actually removing the starter from a video, so if you want to check that out on my YouTube page, you can. If not, we'll just go from this point here. So this is pretty simple. Um, you can take your starter somewhere and have it bench tested if you want, but it, you only need a few simple tools to do it yourself. And just, a, just be a little mechanically inclined, it's not a big deal. So what you're going to need is a battery, uh, you know, a battery that's in good working order, one that's charged properly, a standard set of jumper cables from a vehicle, and then your starter. Now I have my starter sitting on a couple blocks of wood here because we're on a metal table. So um, that's all you're going to need and, and something to jump. A screwdriver will work, but I recommend, you know, something more like this so you don't damage you know, a punch so you don't damage you know some of your better tools for you guys that got big money and can afford snap-on tools and all that so uh, let's get right into it this will only take a second all right let's get started first things first and this part is super complicated so pay attention you got your jumper cables okay negative term negative cable negative terminal let's flip this over because I don't like how that looks Positive cable, you see that little plus sign? What's that mean, boys and girls? Positive, we're gonna put that there. Okay, now, you come over here to your starter. Now what you have here is your positive, your positive post off the back of the solenoid for the starter, okay? This is where power comes to the actual starter and this solenoid here. Starter, solenoid, starter, solenoid, okay. This is your R post. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna use for the ground, with my ground post. Okay, so now what we're going to do is apply my ground cable to the ground terminal and my positive cable to the positive post here on my solenoid for the starter. Alright, so now I've completed the circuit all right, for the starter. Now, in order to test this starter to make sure this shift mechanism in here, this little gear with the teeth, is engaged, we have to, com we have, to have this circuit jump from the positive terminal to this R post on the back of the solenoid right here. This R post, once power is applied to it, engages the shift mechanism, which in turn engages the flywheel, which does what, boys and girls? Starts the vehicle. All right, you got it. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna take my punch, my handy dandy tool. I'm gonna jump this circuit. All right, here we go. Let's jump this solenoid, see if it works. As you can see, the starter is fine. We tested it. The shift mechanism is working. It should be just fine for the vehicle. Now, for whatever reason, if you were doing this test and the starter didn't react that same way, you probably need to replace the starter, maybe have it rebuilt, but I would say just get a new one. So that's it for today. I appreciate you guys tuning in again. Check out my YouTube page, and uh, I'll have more videos coming soon. And remember, you ain't cool unless your chrome's shining. Take it easy, guys.